Okay, let's talk settings in Google Classroom. We all know that we get tons of email, so I'm going to show you a couple different ways to set that up as well as some specific settings for in your classroom. On the card home screen for Google Classroom, when you click the hamburger icon in the top left corner and scroll all the way down to the bottom underneath this are the settings. You couldn't see that, but it's behind this icon. Here you can change your profile picture and account settings, but it's also going to set up your email notifications. You can turn off email notifications completely where you would have to come into Google Classroom in order to receive any of those, or you can choose when and what you want. So maybe you only want it for certain classrooms, um, due date reminders, returning work, those types of things. So these all would fall under those classes that you are a student in. These settings would be for classes that you teach. Um, I suggest leaving this one on in case a student after you've graded it has uh, returned or turned in something to you. You can also go down further and just receive class notifications for a certain class. So maybe I only want it for my Google Classroom and my Arrowwood staff page. And then the rest of these I could change and turn off as I see fit. The other place that you can do settings is we're going to go back. And now we're going to go actually into our classroom. And there's going to be that same gear setting up in the top right now. And this, again, is when you are in your classroom. And here, again, you can change a lot of your different class details and those things. This is also where your class code is. Once all of your students are in there, you can choose to disable the code. And then you can re-enable it as you need to um, invite other new students in during the year. You can also copy it, and then the display will make it a large screen if you are in the classroom. The second setting you're gonna to wanna to take a look at is stream. There are three different choices for setting up your stream. You can have it where only the teacher can post and comment, so only announcements are gonna go there, no student interaction whatsoever. You can have it where students can comment so this would be any of the announcements that you place there. They can respond to, and then you can set it up. And this one's probably more applicable in an older grade um, where students can post and comment. So maybe they share a picture um, or a resource or something like that. Um, I have it set up right now that students can only comment. The next one is classwork on the stream. So that very first page, I would turn this off. Um, so that way, every time you post an assignment or a material, it's going to show up in the stream. And that way you can use your classwork stream as just a place to put announcements. Um, so that that's why I have this one selected. Now, if you do want it to show your assignments and coursework, there's two different options. It's a condensed one, so it'll be just a smaller box. If you want it more detailed, so it's going to be a larger box, then you can click to show attachment and details. But again, I would leave it where it's hiding notifications. The next one is guardian summaries. This is going to send your parents that have signed up and that you have invited and they've accepted um, a weekly email summary or daily, depending on their choice. So when you turn this on, you're just going to hit add class. And so it's going to automatically send any of their parents a weekly summary of what's going on. Um, the last setting in this one is grading. There's a couple different ways that you can have it set up your grade calculation. Right now I have it turned off, so there's no overall grade, but you can also set it up as to total points or weighted by category. You can also have it where it shows it to the students or not. So I am going to turn it on just to be total points so that way everybody can see it in this classroom and click that the students can see their grades. So that way they can see what's going on. 
You can also create different grade categories. Maybe you have uh, homework, in-class work, tests. That's there as well. Don't forget to hit save when you're in your class settings and you are all set.